Hi everyone. So today we are going to calculate sharp ratio by using Python. So let's start. First, let me change the name. Sharp ratio. Okay, I already have this. So perfect. Let's import libraries. Import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import pandas dash pandas underscore data reader as web <clears throat> from tabulate import tabulate run or render in the meanwhile let's put the command for data so we need to download data by using web dot data reader Let's check what are the important elements we need in order to download data by pressing shift tab. So we need name of the stock, data source, star date, and end date. These are the important uh, information we need. So let's do it. Let's say I want Apple. My data source is Yahoo. My start date is equal to 2020-1-1. My end date is equal to 2020-12-31. Or enter. We need to see the data once it will be downloaded. So, okay, let's check top five uh, information or data series. Perfect. So we have dates, we have high price of the day, we have low price of the day, we have opening price and closing price, as well as we have volume and adjusted close. So in this calculation, we are going to use adjusted close. So what we will do, with the same uh, line, we will add adjusted close column. Let's run it. Run. Okay, here we go. So <clears throat> let's calculate the statistic. Let's perform some statistical analysis and calculate daily return. So daily return is equal to data dot percentage change. So if I'm not putting anything here a blank, which means it will take only one period by default. If we want to increase number of days, we can put two, three, weekly, monthly, whatever we want. So let's check daily return dot head. Okay, here we go. Let me add some rows here. Okay. <clears throat> and let's calculate the mean. So daily return dot mean. Let's check the mean. Perfect. Uh, let's calculate the standard deviation. STD is equal to daily return dot STD. Let's check a standard deviation. Right. So what are the information or what are the main element are required in order to calculate sharp ratio? So sharp ratio is equal to return minus 
risk free rate divided by standard deviation. Perfect. So this is the short ratio formula. So I also going uh, gonna come calculate cumulative return. So cumulative return is equal to data. We're gonna take last price over data. We're gonna take first price under square bracket minus one. So let's check the cumulative return, 78%. Okay, so right now we have a standard deviation. Uh, it's, it's a daily standard deviation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze this standard deviation, 3D, by multiplying it by square root of 252 working days. So let's check 46%. We also need risk-free rate. So risk-free rate is equal to, let's say 2%. Now let's calculate sharp ratio. Sharp is equal to, I'm going to use cumulative return, which is the full air return of this stock minus risk-free rate divided by standard deviation. Let's check. So the sharp ratio is to, oops, I did one mistake here. So I didn't multiply any of the number with 100. So it wanna be like this, 1.63, perfect. If you want to calculate sharp ratio for more than one stock, let's say data underscore two underscore stocks is equal to web dot data reader. Sorry, I'm gonna pass a list, comma, Facebook. And then we have data source, which is Yahoo. We have start day is equal to 2020-1-1. We have end date. Oops, sorry. It should not be in inverted commas. Quotation, sorry. 2020-12-31. Uh, and of course, we are going to take adjusted close. So let's run this and check the top five data point. Perfect. Nice. So we are going to calculate cumulative return. We can also calculate mean, mean underscore apple is equal to data, sorry. dot apple dot mean. Similarly, I'm going to Facebook is equal to data score to score FB dot mean. Let's check the mean of Apple. Okay, here I have done a mistake you can say, or it's like I just calculate the mean of price. I can also calculate uh, daily return. So let's daily return underscore two, which is equal to data two dot percentage change. Underscore change. Oops, 
डिल्टन ओके डेट अंडर स्कोर टू डॉट स्टॉक्स ओके सो वी हैव डेली रिटर्न टू डॉट हेड right so we can calculate mean by using return which is like instead of data stock we can put daily return of 2 let's copy this and paste it here as well so let's check the mean of facebook or uh, apple mean of facebook and similarly we are going to calculate standard deviation of apple is equal to daily return to dot std into uh np dot sqrt of 252 similarly i'm going to do it for facebook okay here i have to also mention apple here i also have to mention facebook so let's do it 46% which we have already noticed before and 45 let's calculate sharp underscore apple is equal to cumulative return which is okay uh i already have a cumulative return of apple i'm going to take the cumulative return of <clears throat> facebook so it going to be front bracket data dot fb minus 1 over data dot fb 0 Minus one. Oops. Okay, so it will be data two stocks, data two stocks, and then we have, so we have cumulative return of Apple minus risk free rate divided by standard deviation of Apple. Similarly, we have. sharp of fb it going to be cumulative return of fb minus risk free rate divided by standard deviation of fb let's run this and let's check again oops i did the same mistake which i did before divided by 100 so divided by 100 okay sharp fb perfect so uh that's it for today in the next lecture what i'm going to do is i'm going to automate all this process by defining a function and whatever code we have put it here we will put it in very few lines and we will run the calculation within a second so thanks for watching this video hope it's clear how we can calculate sharp ratio thank you so much